What's going on guys, Kevin here today and I finally picked up a quad core Mac Mini, a 2012 model and today I'm going to go ahead and unbox it for you. So let's go ahead and let's go get started real quick. So first, just taking a tour of the box, you're going to go around the whole thing and on the back it's going to give you sort of a layout and uh, I'm going to be explaining this once I take it out of the box and everything but it's just saying that and then on the bottom it gives some specs of the thing but I'm not really going to go over that because it is the 2.3 gigahertz model with the one terabyte hard drive as of right now anyway. So, when you're taking this off, you get the Mac Mini. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this off to the side. You get the Mac Mini itself, so we're going to go ahead and take this out. And set this aside for a second. And first things first, you get some literature from Apple. You know, just the normal setup guide and stuff. So, you can go ahead and just trash this if you know what you're doing. If you're new to Mac, then you can go ahead and use that, but it's probably not going to help you too much. So you're going to go ahead and throw that aside. Um, next thing, Apple doesn't normally give you many accessories, but with the Mac Mini they know, you know, since it doesn't have a DVI port, they give you an HDMI to DVI. So that's very nice if you have a DVI monitor and you don't want to go out and have to buy a new monitor or anything. Um, up next, you just have the power supply. Well, the power cord, actually. The power supply is inside of the Mac Mini. And it's just, you know, your normal cord. Plugs into the back. I'm going to go ahead and throw that aside as well. Move this box out of the way, bring the Mac Mini back. So now that we have the Mac Mini here, I know you guys hate the plastic, so we're going to go ahead and pull this plastic off. Go ahead and pull. You know, a little bit of an older style unboxing. And now one thing to note about this Mac Mini that they changed with a lot of their recent Macs is the fact that you can still, you know, manually upgrade all the RAM and the hard drive and stuff. So that's definitely good considering, you know, things like the Retina MacBook Pro and apparently the new iMac you can't upgrade by yourself and Apple rips you off with RAM and stuff. So that's good that they kept it that way. So anyway, flipping on to the top, you'll see it kept relatively the same design. The only thing that really changed was on the back and it didn't change the design, but it's the USB 3.0 port versus the USB 2.0. So going over the ports, we have the power, uh, the power port the 1 gigabit Ethernet port, the FireWire, FireWire 800 port, the HDMI out port, the Thunderbolt port, four USB 3 slash USB 2 ports, an SD card slot, and an audio in and out. And then there's the power cable. So anyway guys, that's about it for this video. I'm going to be making a whole bunch of videos on this Mac Mini considering I just picked it up. So if you want to watch any of them, some will pop up on the screen right now. But anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in another one.